So the NFL caught some grief um, because they aired the Super Bowl 51 yesterday. And they aired it on Twitter in its entirety. And Falcons fans got upset about it that why are we doing this and why are we just randomly putting this out there and all that kind of stuff. And look, if you're a Patriots fan, it's one of the great comebacks in NFL history. You know, certainly a, a beacon, a shining moment for the Atlanta, or sorry, for the uh, New England Patriots franchise. But Falcons fans were upset about it. They were like, well, why are we doing this? Like, we're, you know, it's kind of disrespect. I mean, whatever. I, whatever the reasoning is and all this kind of stuff. Okay. Can, can I give a message to everybody? Okay. This, this, this is a guy who's a Falcon fan. I've been here for 30 years, been in Atlanta, cover the Falcons. Been to camps and practices, games, everything like that, okay? Don't be mad at the Falcons. Don't be mad at the NFL. Don't be don't be mad at the NFL network for putting this on Twitter. You know, if Dan Quinn would have handled his business, you know, we keep dancing around the idea, well, you know, Quinn got us to the Super Bowl. Yeah, and he blew the Super Bowl, and he wasn't a very good coach. Like, this is, this is going to be my rant against Dan Quinn. I like Dan Quinn personally, okay? Got nothing wrong with him personally. Does a lot of great charity work, supports the military like crazy. I got nothing personal against Dan Quinn, but he's a lousy head coach. And the reason Falcons fans are upset with all of this is because we didn't come out on the winning end of this when we should have. So instead of looking at the NFL and being upset at the NFL network and putting it on Twitter and rubbing it in our faces, get ticked off at Dan Quinn. Get ticked off at him for blowing the Super Bowl. Oh, well, Matt should have done that. No, Matt shouldn't have done anything. That's all on Dan Quinn. Matt Ryan did exactly what he was supposed to do. This was all about Dan Quinn. And this goes back to all of the flaws and the warts and all the other things about Dan Quinn. You know how hard it is to have three of your six seasons have five-game losing streaks in the NFL when you're expected to be one of the better franchises? Because, again, they were in the Super Bowl in 16. They were in the uh, divisional playoffs in 17 and hadn't sniffed the playoffs since then. But you, Dan had three, five, I think it was five-game losing seasons in six years with the club. That's hard to do for a team that went to the Super Bowl. Hard to do in the NFL just in general. Even if you're, you know, again, maybe one year where you stink up the joint and have a, a, a losing streak like that. Three times? I'm sorry, but Dan's not a good head coach. Dan was never a good head coach. Dan wasn't a good head coach in his first year. He wasn't a good head coach in his last year. He wasn't a good head coach in the Super Bowl. They had an MVP quarterback. They had an offensive coordinator and a quarterback that came together and Matt played out of his mind. Go look. Start in. Look, look, here's a homework assignment for you. Start in 1978. Okay? 1978. And go look at when quarterbacks win the MVP of the league. Start that year when they win the MVP of the league and tell me what's the final game that they play in. You know what you're going to find? The vast majority of time, it's either the AFC Championship, NFC Championship, or the Super Bowl. That's the vast majority of time. You know why I know that? Because I looked it up. I went through the numbers. But don't be mad at the NFL. Don't be, oh, they disrespected us and you know, they, 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 you know, rubbed it in our face. No, Dan's rubbed it in your face. That's why I'm so ticked off. We should have our Super Bowl. Matt Ryan should have his Super Bowl trophy. We should have all of this. And Dan, look, you can spin whatever narrative you want. Dan and Kyle and Matt have all talked about all the, the play calling down the stretch, Right. You know, Matt throws that unbelievable pass to Julio to get first and 10 from the 22-yard line with one of the best kickers in the history of the NFL behind him. And they go in this Fakakta thing and just, again, don't go anywhere. They got the yardage back with the pass to Sanu. And all. 
and it just it just blew up in their face. That's all on Dan. Run the football, and we just we get out of there, kick a field goal, get out of there, win the win the game. I don't care if you win it by one or seventy one, but that's all on Dan. That's why you're frustrated. Nothing to do with the NFL. Something to do with Twitter. Something to do with you know just randomly putting that game on. You have your Patriots fans. One of the great games in history. It's one of the best moments. And I mean, again, for all of the greatness that the Patriots have had, and for all the great moments that they've been able to live, it's one of the great moments in Patriots history. Sucks for us. So be mad at Dan. Get reinvigorated about your anger toward Dan Quinn because he was a lousy head coach. He's still, again, how, how lucky can you be? Oh, he coached the Legion of Boom. Yeah, he was down in Gainesville, Florida when the Legion of Boom was put together. You think that was Dan Quinn? First it was Gus Bradley, then it was Dan, and it's Pete Carroll's defense. Then you get here with Shanahan and Matt Ryan, and they have one of the great seasons in NFL history. And then now, guess what they do? They got Micah Parsons, who's so good, who's so good in the NFL that Dan was being considered for another head coaching job. That's how great, not good, great Micah Parsons is. That he's he was so great that people looked and said, maybe we should give Dan another shot. That's how great he was. You talk about living a charmed life in NFL history. I don't know if anybody has benefited from everything else being done in NFL history than Dan Quinn. So instead of getting mad at the NFL network and Twitter and this and that, and, you know, we got shit. No, get mad at Dan. I'm still ticked at Dan. I'm still angry about Dan Quinn. It still frustrates the crap out of me that we don't have our Super Bowl. Well, I'll, I'll tell that story for another day. We were, again, we were given the information about the parade that was going to happen at the radio station. We were we were emailed about, okay, here's the what the blew up in our face. So you want to get ticked off? Get ticked off at Dan Quinn. That's the reason we don't have our Super Bowl trophy.